There are a bunch of other things going on in the world of movie and television and entertainment news, but we don't have time to make them all main topics. So our very own fact checker, Jonathan, would now like to present to you and get you caught up on all that stuff with today's installment of the Movie News Feed. First up, if you watched last weekend's Game of Thrones episode, The Last of the Starks, you may have noticed a little something out of place in an early scene. From Variety, HBO made fun of itself after eagle-eyed Game of Thrones viewers spotted a modern-day coffee cup in the episode. In a press release, the company joked, the latte that appeared in the episode was a mistake. Daenerys had ordered an herbal tea. For about two seconds in Sunday's The Last of the Starks, a takeout coffee cup appeared on a table in front of Daenerys Targaryen around the 1740 minute mark. Based on the size and shape, many fans assumed it was a Starbucks cup, and the hashtag Starbucks trended on Twitter after the episode. The penultimate episode of the series airs this Sunday. Next up, following Disney's Dumbo comes The Lion King and Aladdin to theaters, but later this year, a new live-action adaptation of Lady and the Tramp is coming directly to Disney+, Plus, Disney's forthcoming streaming service. From Polygon, in addition to trading out the animated pooches for realistic dogs, the remake will reportedly cut a controversial number from the original, the Siamese Cat Song. As it's being reported, Janelle Monet will write a track to replace the number. In the movie, Monet plays Peg, a crooning pound dog voiced by Peggy Lee in the original. The original Lady and the Tramp featured two slinky villainous Siamese cats named Sai and Am, owned by Lady's human owner's relative, Aunt Sarah. They appeared as pretty standard animated Siamese cats, except for their big buck teeth, a common racist character used in depictions of Asians during the 1940s and 50s. Additionally, Peggy Lee performed with an affected accent and purposefully choppy English, especially noted in the Siamese Cat song. The song also makes heavy use of Orientalist elements like a gong and rhythmic drums, borrowing familiar staples from Asian culture without context. Lady and the Tramp features Tessa Thompson and Justin Thoreau as the titular canine couple. Kiersey Clemens and Thomas Mann play Lady's human owners. Sam Elliott voices Trusty the Bloodhound, and Benedict Wong plays Bull the Bulldog. The movie will debut on Disney Plus when the platform launches on November 12th. Next up, although Pokemon Detective Pikachu is looking to appeal to as many demographics as possible, naturally the movie is primarily being marketed towards the younger moviegoers, hence why it has a PG rating. From Cinema Blend, if churning out an R-rated Detective Pikachu movie was on the table, Ryan Reynolds has some ideas for such adult-oriented content. Reynolds said, I think if you could remake a Pikachu version of Mean Streets, that might be kind of fun. Or Goodfellas. It is worth noting that after being hired onto Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Ryan Reynolds considered taking the voice of his Pikachu in a different direction and offered to make the crime-solving Pokemon sound like an old-school, Columbo-style gumshoe. Pokemon Detective Pikachu has earned a fair amount of positive reception, and box office estimates from March placed it at making between $75 and $90 million opening weekend. Looking to the future, a Detective Pikachu sequel is already in the works and there's a potential for this film series to evolve into a full-blown cinematic universe. Pokemon Detective Pikachu hits theaters this Friday, May 10th. Next up, much to the disappointment of fans, Endgame was the first movie in the MCU to not have at least one post credit scene. From comicbook.com, even though the film is now in its second week, fans continue to wait through the credits in hopes of a miracle. It's even caused some theaters to start warning fans of the post credits less movie before it even begins. In a photo shown here, an Inox location warned fans there wouldn't be any post credit scenes accompanying the film. At this moment, the film has unseated Titanic and rests in the number two spot for highest grossing film of all time, just below Avatar. Avengers Endgame is now in theaters and will be followed up by Spider-Man Far From Home on July 2nd. Next up, Benedict Cumberbatch of Avengers Endgame and Elizabeth Moss of The Handmaid's Tale will be starring in The Power of the Dog, the adaptation of the novel written by Thomas Savage. From ComingSoon.net, the book tells the story of wealthy Montana brothers Phil, played by Cumberbatch, and George Burbank. Phil is brilliant and cruel, while George is fastidious and gentle. Together they are joint owners of the biggest ranch in their Montana Valley. When George secretly marries local widow Rose, played by Moss, an angry Phil wages a relentless war to destroy her by using her son Peter as a pawn. The power of the dog will go into pre-production at the end of this year. And finally, Evangeline Lilly, who most recently appeared in Disney Marvel's Avengers Endgame, and the Mindy Project's Ike Barinholtz have been tapped to play wife and husband in Happy Life, a comedy from former Mindy Project writer and producer David Stason. From Deadline, the film follows new mom Allison Beck, played by Lily, who suspects her workaholic husband Eli, played by Barinholtz, of having an affair with an Instagram star. One mistake after another leads her into the arms of a younger man as she struggles to come to terms with her life decisions and be the mother she aspires to be. Principal photography will commence this summer. And that will do it for today's installment of the Movie News Feed.